in what you're actually trying to find as a result of using psychedelics. Because what one of the things that I think is really interesting, especially for the um, the medical profession, is that that entire industry is set up to keep people alive, to sustain life and prolong life. You know, and I think one of the most amazing things about psychedelics is that there's a really wonderful when you have these transcendent experiences there's a wonderful state of acceptance of inevitability that comes through especially on the topic of death and dying and so forth so were there any um kind of like contradictions there or things that you didn't expect or people even in individual um case studies where people are like oh wow i don't view this so much as a as an issue anymore and yeah mm, i think that's a really gorgeous and nuanced question and there's so many threads to it I I would say that you know as a cultural container I don't think Westerners are very good at death and I know I said this in my I'm pretty sure I was banging on about this the last time we spoke as well so the the problem is we're, we're not prepared for it when it comes and people have a you know a really devastating diagnosis no one's ready no one wants it this is not you know um, and we can fight it, we can be paralysed by it. it, it's, it creates extraordinary despair. So um, people can come into the study and have, you know, had, you know, did come into the study with a lot of fear mm. or um, extraordinary sadness about why is my life ending now? This makes, mm. I, I, it's just not fair. And, you know, and it's not, for you know, it's, but um, there is a, a a reality here that um, we're all going to die. Mm. This is this is something that all of us have to face at some at some point. And I remember seeing this beautiful uh, um, discussion about death that uh, Clarissa Pinkola Estes. Have you heard of her? She's amazing, Jungian. Um, yes. I feel to- like, <laughs> is she she's from South America. She is. She's, she, she's passed now, but she uh, kind of brought mushrooms into the West. Oh, right. Okay. I think she's still alive, but she did some beautiful talks about this. But she talks about, you know, the life and the death cycle. She is Indigenous, um, um, uh, America, you know, Mexican heritage, and and Mexican. she's got a beautiful mixed heritage. But she and she talks, you know, the stories. But she she says, you know, that the life and death is just this cycle that we're just not used to in the Western world, and and it's much more accepted in Indigenous society. Mm, mm. We're not good. At allowing things to die. Yes. Not uh, we're not good at allowing bodies to die. We're not allow good at allowing relationships to die. Yeah. Or cycles that that you know we're, we're kind of trying to keep them, you know, alive and 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 like sputtering candles that have got no wax left, and we're trying to kind mm. of keep things. Now, and certainly there's times when we can prolong and and, and improve, you know, a, a quality of life. But but at when is when is you know, our time, our time. And, mm. and one of the, I have to say, one of the, the really um, incredible things to witness in the, the study that we did was that people would come to this realisation, oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't do anything wrong. Mm. It's just part of, you know, so they can sort of see themselves wow. in, in the kind of the bigger picture. There's, um, whether it be that big sort of cycle of life and death or, you know what, life will go on in some way or I will, you know, my children or my, the, or whatever, it, it it feels like they're part of something bigger and that, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of, there's a, a, quite a few people actually that feel, what did I do wrong? What did I do oh. wrong in order to get this? Mm. Um, it was it just terrible luck and, 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 and often it is, um, but, you know, I must have done something wrong in order to to create this, in some way so so you know to have people have these experiences whereby they kind of go oh yeah i get it now you know it's part of this life death cycle enormous burden can can be lifted Mm. with that realization and it can be as simple as something in the symbolic people will often see death in the symbolic in these experiences um or seeing you know uh life cycles of of, of insects and animals and so forth and kind of Mm. thinking that going okay i'm part of this cycle too there's Mm. there's and you know, there's a very powerful realization in these experiences that people will go, oh, it's going to be okay. My loved ones that I'm leaving behind will be okay. Wow. This, this is part of it. 